Apparently there's no excuse for shoplifting because UK's benefit system is very generous, policy policing minister has said. Really? I'm going to read into this from Sky News, you guys. Let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Lee here. An article from Sky News with the headline that there's no excuse for shoplifting because the UK's benefit system is extremely generous, the policing minister has said. Chris Phillips has told Sky News that gangs, criminals, reselling and drugs were largely to blame for the spike of thefts from shells, which have been estimated to have cost businesses $1.76 billion over 12 months. Um, um, I'm, I'm sorry, um... I don't think this man understands understands the benefit system, or he's just taking the mick here. Like people, he, they're not aware. Of, I think he's completely unaware here, the police minister. That um, you know, there's a cost of living crisis as well. You know, energy bills are quite high. Um, I don't know, mortgages have gone through the roof as well, um, among other things. The audacity to say that there is no excuse for shoplifting for these people when they are struggling already to make ends meet when when so many people are going to food banks like the it just spits in the face of everyone it really does and i, I really wanted to, to to put get this one out there because i just think it's it's infuriating that someone thinks that that um that those who are struggling who are turning to shoplifting is a desperate attempt to to be able to feed themselves when they have no understanding what it's like here for these people no understanding whatsoever i understand i know this article is old guys but i still i just want to to highlight i wanted to highlight this story guys because i just think it's infuriating and shows once again just how divided how different that the government thinks in comparison to us, that they see us nothing more than numbers, that they don't see us as people, as people or any, they just see us as inferior ants to just go out and work, not give a damn about us. If you die the next day, they will not bat an eyelid whatsoever. It shows how, how little care that they really do have about people out there who are struggling right now. The cost of living crisis is no excuse for the rise in shoplifting, the policing minister had told Sky News, because the UK's benefit system is very generous. Chris Phillips' comments come amid escalating levels of retail theft, while increased blame on inflation, organised crime and a lack of focus from police. Oh yeah, our police has been pretty poor lately, as you guys have now I've covered extensively stories about the police as well. Asked if he had any sympathy for people stealing to put food on their table, Mr. Phillips said gangs, uh, criminal reselling, and drugs were largely to blame. Again, like what's being done about this? You know, it's all it's all well and good to, uh, but just uh, this is infuriating. You know, they, 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 when they are. There is obviously, there will always be criminals, there will always be shoplifting, but to deter that, you have to obviously make laws that are difficult for that. But when there are situations where people are obviously struggling, what are they supposed to do? You know, just die of starvation, you know? When they have absolutely nothing left, what else are they supposed to turn to? That's the thing. There is really no excuse for crime at all, including shoplifting. We've got very generous benefit system of spending, the national minimum wage has just gone up, the policing minister said. It doesn't, it's not, the minimum wage increase, guys, is nowhere near enough to help pay people's bills. It's not enough yet for those on rents. It's not enough for those, uh, even if even if you are a couple living in a rented or, or having a home, even if you are both as a couple on that minimum wage, minimum uh, wage, you still would not be able to afford to pay all your bills. You would not. He just wouldn't. And that's the thing. They don't understand. Workers have had it worse off. We've, we, the, the difference, the gap between between the pay and the pay and for paying our, the, the minimum wage threshold and the, the amount that we have to pay for our bills. This, the gap is huge. They just don't see this whatsoever. They really don't. 
A survey by the British Retail Consulting this year found levels of shoplifting in 10 major cities have risen by an average of 27% compared with 2022, costing businesses $1.72 billion over a 12-month period. Sky News has invite, invited to join Sussex Police Brian, Business Crime Reduction Partnership Patrol in Brighton in the run-up to Christmas. Field officer Nick Strutland said one supermarket in the centre of the city had a day when it saw 15 thefts in the first two hours it was open, with thieves targeting the store before security guards arrived. He said meat, dairy and butter are frequently taken because of rising prices and high resale values. Some stores didn't even put meat on the shelves until they got a security guard in the store. If you want something, you have to go and ask Mr Strickland at set. Sky News has also shown a closed store which had been targeted by suspected organised criminals who stole whole racks of, pro of products. They just come in usually by door and they just wrap their hands around the coat hangers, lift them and either put them in a bag or just lift them and run out the front door, Mr Strickland said. Yeah, this is what I've, I've told this before. This is referred to as bulk theft. So these are, I would say these are not people who are struggling with the cost of living. I would say that these are people, uh, I would say probably those who are stealing for food, uh, there has to be a bit more sympathy, but for those who are stealing um, uh, clothes and that and then in, and in intending to resell them on, like, uh, there needs to be, the system is not fair right now. And retailers are suffering as a result of this as well. Then there needs to be more done. Um, more needs to be done. We've talked about, you know, the impact that it's had on retails, but I just feel like that the government is just turning a blind eye to all this and just saying everything's fine and when it's not. So work cut out for those hoping to reduce shoplifting. We're just trying to locate the person who walked out with a rug and some other bits for the house. As far as shoplifting reporting goes, it was unusual one to hear, but Sussex Police Officer Nick Strickland said incidents like this are now quite normal. You'd be surprised. How we've had some art places where people have walked in and taken pieces of art, he said. This is desperation, desperation now from people. While out on a patrol in Bright Island, it took barely an hour for the first reports of shoplifting to come in. CCTV was quickly sent through, showing an individual carrying a rug, a vase and a pillow and heading for in the direction of Hove. I don't think someone carrying a rug would get far, but there you go. While the suspect limit their ambitions to one store, others are more wide-ranging in their scope. We've had people filling up suitcases with goods and just wheel around town. There was food in there, stationary alcohol, clothes, literally any, anything and everything, Mr Strickland there. Politicians and officers have vowed to get tough with shoplifters after a recent spike in cases. Judging by the, the two hours we spent on the south coast, they'll have their, cut, have their work cut out. Yeah, there's also another problem. Our prisons are quite full, so putting them in prison is going to be a trouble as well. The police minister warned that a lack of focus on shoplifting by focus by forces means that there has been no deterrence. Referring to looting that has taken place in some American cities, Mr Phillips says the San Francisco case study shows that happens when you have a permissive environment where police don't take further action. When you don't have zero tolerance approach, you get these crimes uh, crimes simply escalate. Yeah, if you if you're not if the police aren't there to crack down on them, it just makes it easier for criminals as well. But Conservative and, and Crime Commissioner for Sussex, Katie Bourne, who leads on shoplifting, naturally agrees the retail crime hasn't been taken seriously enough. There's a lot of demand on police time and some police forces perhaps don't take shoplifting as seriously as they should. We do have refits, uh, refit resources when you have put them to where their needs are is great, Ms Bourne had said. In October, the Home Office announced a retail crime plan involving the creation of a team of specialists and analysis to gather intelligence on gangs responsible for shoplifting. Police forces are also committed to attending more crime scenes with facial recognition used to target offenders. We've, we've, we've discussed most of that thing, but the thing that the crux that are of the, the topic that I wanted to, 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 to go on is the headline there of the police minister not understanding the struggles that people are going through, guys. Um, it's getting worse out there for people. You know, we've talked about this and it feels like that they just don't give a toss about it. Um, when people can't get what they need, when people can't get simply the basic essence of needs, even those who are working the minimum of the wages, this is what they're forced to turn to. You know, this is what they're forced to turn to. It's, and if there's the food bank, if they go to the food bank and the food bank's not giving them enough food or, or whatnot, because there's food banks everywhere as well. Like, this is not how to run a society in any way, shape or form. This is not working. And I don't know how many times I need to scream at the top of my lungs about this. Um, the benefit system is not very generous. That's a lie. It's not generous. It's it's not generous in any way, shape or form. You know, people think that that, that, peop 
that the vast majority love sitting on the benefit system. No, I think a lot of people would rather be working and making a decent living off themselves. But the problem is the wages are so crap that they can't make a living off it. That's the problem, and it needs to change. Oh. What do you guys think? Do you think the police minister is right? Do you think the benefit system is too generous? Do you think there's no excuse for people shoplifting because they can't afford to make ends meet? What about some of the other shoplifting thefts? Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Hit the like button, be greatly appreciated. Share this across social media and hit that bell notification icon so you'll be notified of when I upload another video. And if you want to financially support me, you can do so by becoming a member on YouTube or supporting me with exclusive content on Patreon as well. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to catch you all very, very soon. Thank <laughs> you.